Welcome back to another edition of Flight Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a GSS Caddis Cripple. The hook I have in vice is a standard dry fly hook. This is a number 14. I'm going to use 70 denier black thread. We're going to put a base of thread on the hook starting behind the eye. This is a very good fly for fishing caddis on calmer water. When those caddis, there's, they're feeding on caddis and uh, they're just taking them nice and softly. They're usually eating the ones that are just stuck and trying to get out of their shuck and everything right in the film. I'm going to take my GSS Olive and I'm just going to take a small amount of this and whenever I use the GSS I always just break it off. Just want a small amount. I'm going to go ahead and dub it onto the thread. It is a little difficult to get this started. Some of it may fall but you can just if you're tying over your over a table just wet your finger and get that stuff back up. Make a nice skinny noodle here. Slide it up and we're going to wrap that. Trout really will go, go nuts for this uh, pattern. They go nuts for the GSS Emerger and you combine that with the uh, Flimp style is even better. Now for the wing I'm going to use this is just a piece of a tan grocery bag and I cut a piece about three-eighths of an inch wide and I pulled the very end and the very end the pulled part is going to be our tie-in part. Doesn't really matter how long this is because we're going to trim it. And we want that to get tied right on top. And we're going to fold that wing over just like a tent wing caddis. Just like that. I'm going to take my scissors and trim off the excess in the front. Go ahead and pull that off. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim it to length and we want this just slightly longer than the body. I'm going to cut it at an angle just like a natural caddis wing. Go ahead and clean that head up. got to realize this is what the fish is going to see from the bottom. Now I'm going to take a light gray CDC feather. I'm going to tie this in by the tip. Just going to pull those hackles back or the barbels on it back. Gonna tie that in. If you have stems on your CDC that are skinny enough then you can tie in the whole feather just like a normal hackle but if you don't then you'll have to use the dubbing block to use to get your hackle dubbing noodle I'm going to take my hackle pliers and get it on there make sure that this is on securely and we're going to rotate the hackle around. And we're going to pull it towards the back as we go. This is going to float it all day. And it's also going to look like it is the shuck that it's struggling to get out of. Go ahead and tie this down. That one broke off really nicely. Make a head here. 
take our whip finish And now you can break the CDC off to size, or if you like it like that, that would be fine too. I'm going to go ahead and break it, because when they have those shucks still attached, those shucks are pretty long. They're like the same size as the body of the, of the fly, so leaving that long wouldn't be a big deal. Also gives you a little bit extra floatability. I'm going to put a little bit of head cement on there want to make sure you just get it just on the thread and not on the CDC and here we have a GSS caddis cripple hope that you learned something from this video hope that you would subscribe to my channel Please refer me to your friends, leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.